Kia ora everyone, welcome to my kitchen. It's been another beautiful day here in Auckland and for dinner tonight I'm having a friend over. So I was looking through my recipes, found some mints in the freezer and thought I'm going to make meatballs in tomato sauce. I've made this recipe a couple of times before, it's really yummy and it's really quick and easy as well. What I like about this recipe is that it uses multi-layered cooking. So on my Thermomix I'm going to make the tomato sauce in the bowl and then I'm going to steam the meatballs in the Varoma, which is the steaming torch that's on top. So this just means that the meatballs are going to be steamed in that beautiful tomato sauce so it's going to add an extra flavour and if there's any fat coming out of the mince that's going to drop down into the sauce and going to make it extra yummy. Right, so here we go. My recipe is up on the screen so I'm just ready to start cooking. So first step is I'm going to put a small bowl on top of my Thermomix and I'm going to use this as I weigh in my other ingredients. My scales have started up and it's asking me to put in 40 grams of bread torn into pieces. So I've just got one slice of bread here. It doesn't really say how big the pieces are so I'm just doing sort of um, I guess thumb sized pieces. And that's exactly 40 grams. And into this it's asking me to add in 80 grams of milk. Almost there. And we are done. And just to make sure everything's nicely coated, I'm just going to make sure that the bread is sitting in the milk entirely. Right, this is now going to sit to a side and we're going to carry on with the meatballs. So, into my bowl I'm going to add 6 to 12 sprigs of fresh parsley. Um, I'm just using Italian parsley I bought from Countdown. The recipe asks for one garlic clove, but knowing me I'm putting in three. And now we're just going to quickly chop these down. Nice and easy. Just following the instructions, I'm just scraping down the bowl. This just makes sure that any of the Bits and pieces that have been thrown up, up against the side of the bowl are back down the bottom. Nice quick way to chop stuff, huh? So into my um, mixture there, I'm going to add 400 grams of beef mince. So it's, I'm just going to basically break up the pack that I fat bought, and that's just going to go into big pieces in there. I'm going to use about 500 grams simply because that's the size of the pack I bought, but the recipe itself calls for 400. Put the last of it in. Alright. So the meatball recipe itself is quite simple, but it's a sauce that gives it that beautiful flavour. I'm also going to now add to this two eggs. Half a teaspoon of salt. Some ground black pepper. And I'm going to put in my bread, which has now completely soaked the milk up. So the recipe says to squeeze it and discard any excess milk. So I'm trying not to make a mess. Okay, so my milk soaked bread is now going in there as well. And this is now going to be mixed up for 10 seconds. So 
so you can see we're quite nicely all mixed up there. So now that what remains for me to do is I'm going to form these into meatballs. And it says about um, four or five centimetre big ones. So I am just going to pull these now. Just using my hands. And then I'm just going to put them straight into my Varoma dish. So the Varoma dish has two levels. It's got one tray and you can also steam on the bottom as well. So I'm going to stop the video and carry on making my meatballs and I'll see you shortly. Alrighty, so I've made my meatballs. So I've got some on the bottom of my tray, some on the steaming tray. So I'm just going to put the lid on the Varoma and just put this aside, ready to start steaming it shortly. So in the meantime, we're going to make the tomato sauce that goes over the meatballs. So into my bowl, I'm going to add a clove of garlic. 50 to 80 grams of quartered onions. Um, I'm just going to put a whole small onion, so that's about 80, nine, almost 90. 20 grams of olive oil. One thing I love about these recipes is that if you do go a bit over, a bit under, it's not really a big deal. And we're now going to chop this up for five seconds. That sounds like it's done. So now we're going to cook it for three minutes at 120 degrees. So we're almost finished cooking. The kitchen is smelling absolutely amazing. I just love the smell of um, fried onions and garlic. And because I didn't clean the bowl from making the meatballs, there's still a bit of a bit of a slightly mint sort of smell coming out as well. Alrighty. So these are now nicely fried off. Let's go to the next step. So we're adding 600 grams of tinned tomatoes. So I've got a 400 gram tin here, I'm just going to put this in. And then I'm also going to add hopefully around 200 grams of fresh tomatoes that I've just roughly chopped. And as always, the secret to um, cleaning out your tin of um, tomatoes we're going to shove a little bit of red wine in there and use that to quickly rinse it out. All right. One teaspoon of salt. Freshly ground black pepper. I'm also going to throw in a handful of mushrooms as well. So these are buttered mushrooms that I've quartered. So they're going to sit in there. I'm going to put the lid back on. So to actually go and steam our meatballs while we're cooking the sauce, I'm going to pull the lid off. And then I'm going to put the Varoma, which is full of our lovely meatballs, on top. And this is now going to cook for 20 minutes. So again, while our tomato sauce is cooking in the bowl, we're also going to be steaming our meatballs. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm just going to serve this with some a side of maybe broccoli or some green veggies, and that's it. Dinner's ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that, and I've inspired you to do some meatballs. They're really yummy. See you later.